Our church honors today a saint by the name of John Chrysostom. He was affectionately known as Golden Mouth. The translation of Chrysostom. He served as a bishop in Constantinople and he was revered as a priest and a preacher. He was sent off into asylum for his rebuke of the Empress and her public behavior. And from his imprisonment, he often wrote letters of encouragement and urging the faithful remain loyal to Christ in this life and on into the next. Well, in writing to Timothy this morning that we heard, you heard Paul say, to Timothy, my true child in faith. Listening to those words in the rest of that reading, I could almost hear words of humility, affection, encouragement, hopefulness that came from the mouth of Paul. And it could be said that he too possessed a golden mouth. When Jesus asked in the gospel today if a blind person could guide another blind person, well, I thought of St. Paul, who from all accounts of his earlier life was a man who was blind with envy and hatred. He had a wooden beam in his eye and could only see splinters in the eyes of others. But as we heard through the grace of God, that would change more and more he would become like Jesus, his teacher. We heard of Paul's confession of sins today, his acknowledgement that earlier in life he was a blasphemer, a persecutor, an arrogant man, but when he came to know Jesus, who treated him mercifully and considered him trustworthy, Paul changed. Paul would eventually become a man with a golden mouth, speaking words of hope and conveying words of grace and mercy and peace to others. In fact, Psalm 16 that we heard, I'm sure he prayed often, you will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights of your right hand forever. When we allow ourselves to be tra trained rather or schooled uh, in, in, in the commandments of God to love our neighbor and to love God, when we embrace our Catholic traditions and teachings, when we dare to speak of these during prayer, our family prayer with our neighbors or in the public work or in the workplace or in the neighborhood, as I said, I would imagine that we too will be affectionately known as men and women who possess golden mouths. <laughs>